This is like mochi, rice cake, uh, tofu. Different, different, tofu. Type of, different type of tofu. Oh, good. Yeah. So I'm just going to type it right here and don't forget to bring your shoes Karna hari ni aku pake sandals What are the interesting facts about these stones? <laughs> <laughs> Halo guys, selamat datang ke Rodeh Harjaku lagi di Beijing eh, Tadi mama aku eh, baru pulang ke Jepang dan eh, besok Jerome Yusuke dan Otoga akan datang ke Beijing Jadi hari ini aku free Free day and this is my friend Steve and We met in Canada when I was studying abroad one year And he's Chinese And usually he lives in Canada But he's home for vacation Yes Yes, and he's gonna show me around Beijing today and I really really like Mapo Dofu. So we're going to uh, Mapo Dofu place. Yes, we looked for two places before this, but both of the places were closed yes. at noon. Yes. Because it's very very crowded. Yes. For some reason. Yeah. There's so many people in Yes, yes. Yeah, I realized that in the past couple of days. And we finally found this place that probably served. They have Mapo. Yeah, they have Mapo. Okay, nice. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Yes, let's go. So you guys, this is some random restaurant that we chose in a big mall which has so many different restaurants and we're waiting. This time we're waiting 20 minutes. Uh, while we were waiting, we wanted to have some fruit bubble tea. Yes. And we had to wait that for 30 minutes. <laughs> Oke okay, guys, akhirnya kita masuk dan kita udah tunggu cikap perlu tempat perlu mana ini menunya, menunya pakai kiwan kau jadi Steve is gonna order for us. And di sini gak ada mambo dofu tapi ada yang mirip sama mambo dofu ini. Kita mau makan ini, terus ini yang kelihatannya terus banget kayaknya ada cabe sama ayam, kayaknya enak. Terus. <laughs> Terus karena kita mau sehat-sehat, ini untuk sayur terus nasi Guys, if you come to Chinese restaurants, they give you like hot tea, hot drinks for free, right? And also like vending machines or like uh, convenience stores Even though it's, it's like the water, the beverages are in the fridge, it's not ice cold It's like normal temperature Next guy This thingy, we have to mix the eggs before it gets cold. Yeah, this kind of looks like mambo doku. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it's looks a like a similar yeah. way of cooking. And like everything is big. Every kind of food is huge in this country. Okay, first I'm gonna eat this. <laughs> mm. Is this a mushroom? Yeah. It's a little bit spicy. Yes, yes. It has yes, some chili. Yes, a little bit. Yeah. But it's good, it's good. Yeah. I think Indonesian people like this. Type of food because yeah. they like spicy food. I, I didn't order too spicy. This uh, is uh, like uh. less spicy than usual. Nice. Yeah. This is like mochi, rice cake, uh, tofu. Different tofu. Type of, different type of tofu. Mm. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Mm. There's chicken as well. No, this is not chicken. It's chicken feet. No, it's not chicken. I don't know. Like, probably should be. <laughs> It's like the middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> good. Wow. This is so good. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I wanted to try it. Mm. Different thing. That you wouldn't order. Mm. I'm too scared to order yeah, yeah. feet. And um, the thing you see online is all like for tourists. Mm, 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 it's mm, not mm, local mm, enough. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. This is so good. Yeah. Like the bones. It's crunchy. It's not too hard, so I can eat it. Mm. I'm gonna try this thing that looks like mambo dofu. Yeah. Okay. It's, oh, it smells like garlic. Yeah, it has garlic. Huh? Garlic is so strong. Oh. Ah. Is it hot? <laughs> mm, the taste is very good. 
but it's, it's not even close to Mamoru. It's, it's, it's not the same. And the taste is pretty much garlic. The gar garlic taste is so strong. It's like eating garlic. <laughs> I think with rice, it's good. Yeah. Just this self, just this, the taste is too strong. It's supposed to go with the rice. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try the vegetable. Good, good, good. Like Chinese food, they use so much garlic, they use so much onion, green onion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three things that we use the most, ginger, garlic, green onion. Yeah. Okay, this chicken. Just, just chicken. Chicken. Oh, good. Oh, good, 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 good. Right. It looks super spicy. But it's not, not that spicy. Yeah. If you just eat the chicken, it's not that yeah, spicy. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It's actually crunchy. Okay, guys, I'm gonna have the mamoroku thingy with the rice. Yeah. Because this itself, it's too strong. Mm -hmm. I really like the Chinese rice though. It's really good. It's different. Yeah, it's different from Japanese rice. It's and a little bit similar with Indonesian rice. And every, honestly, every place you go to is different. Like every, every single place is different. Mm. Like the region yeah, in yeah, China. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Mm. With the rice, it's good. I have to go with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very good, Steve. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm just going to start shopping the NBA store. In Beijing, they have this NBA store that has all the jerseys of the players that are famous right now Stephen Curry, LeBron James, Torres, and the jerseys young of like le legend players like Tracy McGrady, uh, Kobe, Kalo uh, Datang to Beijing, the NBA store. Also, in the One Fujin Street, I found this Nike store. Probably the biggest Nike store on earth. Like it's so big! Got the bottom! It's probably like five stories high. I wonder how many shoes there are. Like and I realize everything in China is just big. <laughs> big. Everything's big. Everything's big. The road, it's like so wide. And there's so many people. Yeah. Okay guys, untuk uh, pergi ke tempat tujuan berikutnya kita lagi naik taksi dan kalau uh, advice untuk kalian travel di China uh, especially taxi drivers they cannot speak English at all cuma bisa berbicara bahasa Cina jadi susah banget communicate bersama bersama orang supirnya jadi kalian harus uh, siapin aku kucing say saying I cannot speak Chinese Terus, uh, just show them where you want to go and then he'll understand. Atau pakai taksi apa aja. It's so hot! <laughs> ah. And the steps. <laughs> oh. I know. Okay, guys, if you guys want to see good you know, scenery and also exercise. You should come to this place, uh, which is called, I forgot, so I'm just gonna type it right here. And don't forget to bring your shoes. Karna hari ini aku pake sandals, flip flops, which is terrible for walking these places. But the view is amazing. Yeah, look at these guys. It said that this place was a getaway home for the king and mother for yeah, yeah, yeah. Qin Dynasty. Yes. Okay guys, so sekarang kita lagi di Yihuiyang And this is guys, it's a World Heritage site And from now we're gonna night, we're gonna ride this boat And see what we can see on this, on this huge lake right here And that is one of the famous bridges in Beijing as well, let's see Let's go Where's the good seat? On the side, right? Yeah. Side, on the side. Okay. Yeah, let's go here. Right here, right here, right here. Yo, nice. Yo. Nice. Yo. 
Uh, okay guys, kita orang naik uh, kapal punya Kemandang tanya bagus banget Dan kita orang sampai di tempat yang ada uh, Jumpatan itu Kayaknya jumpatan itu turkan banget As a tourist spot And also like uh, Right now time is like uh, 6.30 It's not that hot and because we're at the lake Anginya bagus banget sih Cuman Okay guys, we're at the bridge and of course there's so many people Yeah, you can see, banyak banget orangnya Terus, it's pretty steep ya Tapi yang penting untuk jembatan kayak gini From the outside, it's better to see the bridge When you're actually on the bridge, you don't really understand how beautiful it is Hi Steve! Hi! So, what are the interesting facts about these stones? Oh, they're yeah, curved by hand. By hand. hand uh, yeah. Really? Yes. Really? I think so. Okay. <laughs> Sunset is in Bagus Pangat, yeah, guys. Wow. banyak. Papa, papa. Some video, a photo of the sunset. Nice. Okay, guys, it's the malam hari ini. We are finally gonna eat the babo tofu. Kayanya. Uh, Steve's friend from middle school is gonna come and join us. Uh, she knows a lot about the restaurants in Beijing and she recommended us this place that has, that serves the actual mambo tofu. Tapi kayaknya mambo tofu di Jepang dan mambo tofu di China. Mungkin mambo tofu di Indonesia juga. Beda sih. Jadi aku mau makan yang asli. Okay guys, kita udah sampai dan this shisen. How do you say it in Chinese? Suchuan. So this is like the area. Of like the spicy food, right? Yes. The mambo tofu. Okay, guys. I can't wait to meet some mambo tofu. Wow. Aku pengen bangga makan mambo tofu di China. Akhirnya ada di Jepara tu. Tapi, okay. Jadi jujur, mambo tofu ini di sini kelihatannya warnanya sama sama yang ada di Jepara. Mungkin yang ada di Chinese restaurant in Jakarta in Indonesia juga. Tapi wanginya ada wangi agak kayak tomatoes. So maybe ada rasanya agak asam gitu gitu. Tapi di sini ada banyak cabe. Jadi aku khawatir banget kalau ini agak terlalu pedas. Ayo coba makan. Okay guys, jadi aku akhirnya aku mau coba mambo tofu sama fried rice. Guys, every everything that served here. Ukurnya gede banget, saya sih gede sih. Makan yuk. Really? Oh my god, so good. I mean, it's not too different from like Japanese one. It's a little bit spicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. Hmm. Spicy and juga. Karena kita makanan China yang pakai terlalu banyak spice China. Tapi ini pas pas banget. Di sini ada banyak lada juga. Jadi enak. Bahagia banget bisa makan mambo tofu akhirnya di China sama teman-teman aku. Oke, kelihatannya kayak gini guys. Supnya merah banget. Jadi kelihatannya pedas banget. Tapi dagingnya aja biasa aja sih. Terima kasih. Different, right? Different. Oh, so good. It's not spicy at all. I told you, it looks spicy. Yeah. Wow. As long as you don't drink the soup, it's fine. It's so soft. Yes. The beef. So how how it makes is first they boil the beef with the sauce, like the the base sauce. Okay. 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 And when it's almost cooked. Beef is on the top. Mm. They put in all the spices on the top. Heat the oil mm. to the high temperature. Mm. Uh, pour it on, on top. Mm. So all the flavor is mm. Oh, you guys, it's so fun. Got a feeling Beijing with some Steve, Tuan Kunari, Canada. Best of all, you should also go and enjoy makan. Datang to Beijing. Let's kita akan bikin konten bersama untuk channel Nihongo Matapu. Jadi silakan lanjut ke video Nihongo. 
Kalau kau mantap ya. Okay guys, jadi terima kasih untuk nonton video kali ini. Jangan lupa like, share video ini dan subscribe channel aku. Tujuan aku untuk tahun ini itu sampai satu juta subscribers. Jadi tolong subscribe ya guys. Terus sebelum video ini ada dua video bersama mama aku di Shia itu blognya. Pasti suruh panggil. Jadi kalau kalian belum nonton, silakan nonton. Okay, bye bye.